This program is brought to you by Emory University. It's estimated that almost half of the population, world populations, is at risk of acquiring a disease transmitted by a mosquito. And the way we can control those diseases is to get more knowledge about the mosquitoes and the diseases they carry. So we need to do really basic research and advanced research in order to understand. And, and that's what we do in our lab. We use collection caps, which are basically plastic caps with a mesh, a metal mesh. So we can knock the mosquitoes down by pl placing them in, in the freezer and for five minutes. So it's like an anesthesia for mosquitoes. And after that, we can sort them by species and, and gender and, and, and look at different physiological status. If they are blood fed, they are not blood fed. For those mosquitoes, in particular for the females, then we can test them for infection, in our case, of West Nile virus in, in, in the mosquitoes here in Atlanta. There are many different methods to collect mosquitoes and those methods were evolving over time. Light traps or gravity traps are devices that have a vacuum or an aspiration and allow mosquitoes that are attracted to a source to be aspirated and contained. Other methods that allow to collect mosquitoes, not when they are attracted, but when they are resting in particular areas. And those are what are called mosquito aspirators, or the most commonly method, used method is the CDC backpack aspirator. So the CDC aspirator is basically a, a heavy and big backpack that has a motor mounted in, in the back. So that motor, what it does, it creates a suction channel that basically collects aspirate mosquitoes into a collection cap. It's really heavy, we're talking about uh, 24 pounds. It's also very expensive, so when you want to buy or, or, or obtain one of these aspirators, you're talking about between 500 and 700 dollars. And the other limitation is that you can, you're limited about the accessibility of your collection. So you can only reach up to one and a half meters of, of distance from, from, from the motor. We have this team trying to understand where mosquitoes spend their winter. And given that mosquitoes, where they spend their winter, but also where the virus, West Nile virus, could spend the winter. So we were trying to address that main question. And the idea was that the city of Atlanta has these big tunnels, sewer tunnels, in which not only the mosquitoes would have a, a shelter, but also optimal conditions because the conditions inside would be different and more uh, dampened than what happens outside. So we were start thinking about how we can get the mosquitoes in those tunnels. As of course, we first came up with the use of a CDC backpack aspirator. However, when we were talking about tunnels that can have a, up to 14 feet high and ceilings can be really you know, difficult to reach and, and you have some limitations in the surfaces, we have to come up with a different uh, approach. So we have to basically build a new device. We found actually motors developed for boats, actually for ventilation of the fumes from, from the gas tanks that would fit our needs in terms of weight, cost, and size. So the second step was going to a hardware store and trying to get the other parts that will make up our, our aspirator. And that was I think a very exciting part because we're just trying to think creatively how using, a, in our case, um, paint roller and a coupler from a plumbing and some wire, how we could come up with this new improved device. The effectiveness test that we performed here in Atlanta in the combined sewer tun tunnels, but also in the city of Iquitos, Peru, showed that it's not only cheaper and lighter, but it's also more effective in collecting and detecting mosquito abundance. So we're talking about a price difference of the fi original $500 or $700 of the backpack aspirator to $50 for our new device. And for us, developing a tool that can be easily accessible for people in developing countries is a key. And we are trying to provide enough information in, in our paper for other people to build their own aspirator, but also to have a commercial, uh, a company working in the production of this device, selling these products in a price that can be competitive and easily accessible. The name of the device is called Procopac, and I'll tell you why. Well, my last name is Procopec, of course, and just to say something, it, the name didn't come from me, it came from other researchers working in, in the study in, in Peru particularly, but it came up because of the idea of using a backpack to collect mosquitoes, and given that my name is Procopec, we just combine it and call it Procopac. So at first I made a poll between the students and the people in my lab. They loved it. They made 
I also asked another researchers and everybody said, you can have a nice device, but you also need to have a nice name for the device. And we believe that Procopac would do it. We're sending out some more units to Africa, particularly to Kenya and to Zambia, to test the collections of Anopheles mosquito. Malaria is the most important mosquito transmitted disease in the world, and we have millions of people affected by it. And although there are new initiatives trying to basically eliminate transmission or interrupt transmission in Africa, there are still many millions of, of kids dying of malaria in Africa and in, uh, in the Americas. So vector-borne diseases play a significant role in many different countries in the world. So it's, it's, that's why I believe that you know, those are the diseases that need to be tackled and, and, and the problem we have is how we really face the control of those diseases, particularly because we are dealing with mosquitoes that are really difficult to find and also to determine where they breed and, and, and how they relate to transmission of malaria and other diseases. Did you catch anything? Shouldn't be afraid of bugs if you want to have this job. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.